All right, we're back. I'm Gary Johnson from the University of Minnesota Department of Forest Resources. And this segment's gonna be on testing compaction. Um, we talk a lot about compaction, that it's tough on trees, uh, but how do we really measure it? And there are a couple different ways we can measure. If you remember one of the other segments or go forward to one of the other segments, when we tested for percolation of water in the soil, we actually weren't testing for water. We were testing for oxygen. What is the ease for the oxygen to diffuse through the soil? And if the soil is waterlogged, uh, it's very difficult for oxygen to diffuse through the soil. One of the things that has been found in many, many, many years of research is kind of the, the definitive test for whether or not a tree is gonna survive and be healthy is what's called the oxygen diffusion rate. And that oxygen diffusion rate is a function of a couple things. One is the soil waterlogged. If it's waterlogged, oxygen can't diffuse normally. And then second of all, is the soil compacted, specifically if it's compacted and it's a clay soil. Same problem, it's very difficult for oxygen to diffuse horizontally in the soil. So there are a couple ways we can test for it uh, before we select the trees that we're gonna plant here, or if we are just determined to have a tree like a sugar maple that doesn't do well in compacted soil, what we're gonna have to do to the site to make sure we increase that oxygen diffusion rate. One of the instruments we use is a penetrometer. And from research, we know that once you get over 400 foot-pounds of resistance, and that's what I'm going to be doing, is testing the resistance as I push this into the ground. Once you hit over 400, it starts slowing roots down. It makes it a little bit more difficult for them to expand out. If it's more difficult for them to expand out, they don't grow as fast, they don't take up as much water, they're a little bit more vulnerable to changes in the climate or dry season. Uh, we have had some of our test sites in the metropolitan area and public parks where the penetrometer reading has been 1300, greater than 1300, which is really difficult for roots to penetrate. So if you have an extra, uh, what did I pay for this, $1,200 about 20 years ago, you can use this to detect what the resistance was, and this one measured 480 pounds. So it is at that higher end, and we know it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for trees, tree roots to grow uh, untethered through the soil, grow normally. It's not real, real bad. If you don't have $1,200, or if you have $1,200 and you don't wanna spend it on a penetrometer, uh, you can use a shovel. And one of the ways, and this, you don't, you don't need a gauge on this one. If you can dig down in, especially a two spade deep, or if you're like me, and for the first time in my life, I wish I had more pounds on my body so I could dig down further, you have a compacted soil. Now, the, the last thing you have to do is test to see if it's a clay soil or if it's sandy soil. If it's a sandy soil, you can tell when you're digging down in because you can hear the crunching, which I don't hear. Uh, to see if it's clay soil, you just dig out a little bit, put it between your fingers, and you'd find out that this is your typical clay loam that we have here. So we have a compacted clay loam here. It's not off the charts. It's going to make it a little bit more difficult for the tree roots to expand and get established in here. Um, one thing we could do is just loosen up a larger area at planting time maybe incorporate some organic matter in it, and that'll allow uh, oxygen to diffuse better, the roots to grow out faster, and the tree to be healthier. And that's the end of the compaction story.